Hi Amix! This is a tiny turkey and today we're gonna roast it while I roast your holiday. I felt like the yellow theme for Thanksgiving. I don't know why but Thanksgiving just gives me yellow vibes. <laughs> like the lights, super cozy, family gathering, you know? So today we're gonna do two of the things that I hate the most. One, cooking. Two, being in my kitchen. <laughs> Everybody knows that when you're gonna cook, your kitchen has to be spotless and super clean. So let's just ignore the fact that I haven't taken out the trash for three weeks. Thank you. My train of thought was I don't have an oven, so I need to use my air fryer. And that's why I selected a tiny, Turkey. But of course there are no turkeys that size, so I had to look for something small. I thought I was buying a quail or something like that, but turns out it's just, it's just like a little hen. It comes from England, so like this is what we got today. Look at this little... For those of you who are new here, I'm Satura and I am from Colombia, Latin America. So I have no idea of what Thanksgiving is or why do you celebrate it But honestly, I can't even judge you because in Colombia we have like a thousand holidays Like I'm not lying, every month we have like two or three holidays Which is awesome because we don't have to go to work those days <laughs> I mean, I'm an expert in holidays, so of course I'm gonna judge yours I, as probably everyone in the world, grew up watching American movies and media and shows so of course I know about Thanksgiving since forever but I have never understood what it was like I just kind of associated that with Christmas time I have seen that it has gotten like a little controversial because it's related to Native American culture and other things so I'm just gonna learn a little more about this so we can really get into the culture of United States let's get cooking of course I went to YouTube and Tasty to tell me what the F to do with this because I barely even know how to cook pasta <laughs> oh talking about pasta I'm going to fulfill two dreams today because from movies uh, when I was little I always watched the turkey and the macaroni and cheese that you guys do I don't know what that is but it looks amazing and I don't think I have ever had it here in Colombia so I'm just going to make that too as a side dish for my turkey I found the recipe that looked easy enough for my skill level um, it requires a lot of herbs and butter but we are super fitness in this house so i'm not gonna use regular butter i'm gonna use ghee i hope it's the same because i don't know come with me because we need to put the macaroni and cheese okay what are you waiting for i told you to come 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 you're gonna make me go grab you seriously you can't walk over here just a little bit okay You lazy piece of <laughs> You really made me do it. Listen, don't look at my kitchen because I already told you it's super dirty and I'm not gonna clean it anymore because I hate it. <laughs> Honestly, like, is there a school for adulting? Because I need to go there and probably fail. <laughs> if anyone knows... I mean, are you the type of person who, like cleans their kitchen every week or like you do you wash your dishes every day because I had like a mountain of dishes for like almost two months and I didn't touch it because I hate it I literally cannot do it <sighs> I wish I was rich so I could pay someone to do that for me but what you gonna do so here's what I found at the store um, our stores don't really sell those like elbow pasta so this is the only one i was able to find and luckily it already has cheddar so i don't have to put any more on it uh, it says it has no artificial flavors and no artificial dyes which i highly doubt i'm gonna cook this macarons macaroni how do you say macarons in plural you tell me in the comments we have our macaroni so we're gonna just put it here in the water Oh yeah, we really need to chop this up. I have no idea what I'm doing, everything I do, I do. Oh, I'm 
I need to file. Oh my god, I really need to file my knives because they are so not cutting this shit. <laughs> you know that I am such a practical person. I bought this knife because the other ones I had were not cutting anything uh, instead of filing them. <laughs> And now this one doesn't cut either. I need to learn to adult. Please help. You know what doesn't help either? My board, my cutting board is like... I don't know why it's kind of like bent can you see that so it's not like fully flat and that annoys me so much <gasps> wow this really doesn't cut shit uh, yeah I think I'm gonna use a table knife because it probably cut better <laughs> can you please just stop judging me I know I'm bad at this so don't <laughs> you don't need to be such an a-hole Okay. Yeah? You think it's funny? Then come over here and do it yourself. Huh? Ah, uh, this is not working. Cooking while you're recording is hell because I have my hands full of things and probably not suitable to touch my camera, but I have to change the angle so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm talking over my food, so I'm probably not a good cook anymore. Luckily, only my brother and I are gonna eat this, so... And you, of course, because I'm gonna invite you to my Thanksgiving dinner. So, go take a shower while I do this, because we need to be super beautiful and ready for it. I kinda wanna, like, lick it from my fingers, but I know it's not gonna taste good. You know what, you guys? I kind of get vloggers now. Like, I have had so much fun doing this just by talking to you guys. So thank you because I really, truly hate the kitchen. I'm going to cut my veggies because we are supposed to use like celery and carrots to kind of give it a little flavor while the chicken cooks. So I bought, obviously, because the theme is tiny, I bought like these baby carrots. And also this already cut up celery because I'm lazy. <laughs> oh, I'm looking so hot today. What the fuck? I could like do me. <laughs> I was reading a New York Times article that talked about how everything you were taught in school about Thanksgiving was fake. Um, which I obviously know nothing because I was never thought about it. <laughs> But this story that i found that's like the traditional way of telling it is that the pilgrims had a good harvest and to celebrate they invited native americans from the wampanoag uh, tribe to join them and it's, it was kind of like this wholesome story about how to cultures get together and blah 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 or at least that's what i got from it And this article completely tore that apart <laughs> and I can understand that because if there is something we Americans have in common and yes I'm referring to Americans as people who live in the continent of America because I know you're not really good with maps you people from United States but we are a whole continent what do you know look at it We're all part of it. We all Americans, we kind of share the same history in a, in a way because we were all doing great until Europeans came and tried to conquer our land. And unlucky for us, they were kind of stronger and they just finally erased the native culture from America. What? What's that sound? Leaking. This is what happens when you cook with me. It's just a mess. Everything's just leaking. It's dirty. I probably already filled my camera with butter 
it's just a mess like I don't I don't get why people like to cook so where was I <laughs> yeah so i was telling you that we have kind of like a similar history it is similar but it's not the same really because what happened here was that they kind of tortured us i mean i talk about us as if i were a native american person but i'm not i'm actually the result of this process this painful process of conquest they tortured people to become to catholicism but i think in North America it was most more a process of genocide like they just erased you and started all over they didn't even bother to teach you anything or to make you believe anything so I think that's a little bit different from us this is a downer like why do you celebrate this <laughs> my point is that maybe we are more alike than we think and probably this is a very Latin American thing but we always kind of look up to out to foreigners like we want to be like Europe or like North America because the first world is super amazing and blah 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 but I think we just need to acknowledge that Europe is kind of like a downer you know like they just took out the native culture from America and they just assumed that everything that happened before them just didn't exist and that's kind of sad because there should be a lot more variety of cultures and skin colors and races um, and thanks to them it's just kind of like all the same or I think they were like trying to make us all the same but anyway I think the same happened to you and pilgrims were just your equivalent of Spanish people and they eradicated the Wampanoags or at least decimated their populations and that's why people often criticize Thanksgiving because it's kind of like a warped vision of what really happened it was not like a happy meal that we have and came together and blah 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 and now we're living in peace or whatever it was quite the opposite like they just probably ate together and then just killed everybody after that <laughs> that's kind of sad but look we have a tiny turkey here's my question so when i was looking up the recipe the person told me to use a lemon to me this is a lemon but she was using like lime it's like this but yellow <laughs> what is that like what is that americans i have no idea i think it's time to put this in the oven okay so here it is let's see how it goes mm. they said it was 400 so i think it in in the real metric system that we should all in the world use 400 fahrenheit means like 200 celsius so while that cooks i'm going to finish my macaroni and it looks good it's, i'm just you know what i'm just fantasizing so much about that cheese why is cheddar so gross <laughs> Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, my God. It looks so good. You know what? While the chicken cooks, I think it's the best time for a reggaeton day. So here we go, paisanas. To this okay let's, let's, let's go let's take my hand okay take my hand <gasps> it looks good it looks good oh my god wow oh my god it's it's raw i think we need to cook it a little more oh I'm burning. Ah! Oh, that happens to me all the time. Uh, yes. Mm. It's almost done. Uh, while we wait, if you're new here, 
I want you to know that I give out passion fruit to every person that subscribes to this channel and likes this video. Today I think I'm gonna do something special so I'm gonna give it to you in the form of a delicious juice to mix, you know, our cultures. Latin American passion fruit with the wonderful American Thanksgiving. <laughs> You guys, I cannot believe it! It's ready! <laughs> I did it. Oh my god, I did it. Will you look? Oh, don't look. Is my first Thanksgiving dinner worthy or did I fuck up? <laughs> I think I managed it. So you know what to do now. Cheers. Now that we have gone through all of this together, I want us to hold our hands. Give me your hand. Say grace. I am very thankful that I have a big juicy butt. Thank you for watching and my social battery is officially dead, so bye!